Hello and welcome to my presentation here at the first International Congress on Application of Infrared Thermography in Sports Science in the online edition. I want to talk with you about the deep learning based segmentation of uncovered body parts in thermal images during dynamic exercise. My colleagues are Marlo Hillen, Pericles Simon and Elmar Schirmer, all from Johannes Gutenberg University in Mainz. I am Daniel Andres Lopez, um, also from the Institute of Computer Science in Johannes Gutenberg University, Mainz in Germany. I'm a doctoral student and my contact details are written on this slide. In our project, we want to improve endurance testing, which is currently done with multiple measurement methods, like you can see on the picture, with electrocardiography or spiroedgeometry. But there's also the, uh, the skin surface uh, radiation, which is a thermal radiation, uh, which can be measured by a thermographic camera. This radiation is not equally distributed over the skin surface and it changes over time and during the exercises. With the thermographic camera, uh, we obtain more than thousands of images which can't be processed manually. There are multiple thermographic vessel patterns, which you can see during the tests. On the left side, for example, arterial structures, which are like snowflakes, and on the right side, vein structures, which are like long lanes in the images. But the first part in thermogram analysis should be to separate the background and non-usable parts of the image and uh, only mask the foreground. So the clothes and furniture and other background stuff has to be skipped. In this project, our goal is to select the proper region of interest automatically and we don't want to select the unusable parts like the clothes. And we want to make this process reproducible and standardized. Our proposed analysis workflow here is to apply classic computer vision techniques and to utilize artificial neural networks to segment the foreground body, skin body surface from the other parts. With this body part segmentation, we obtain a mask that can be used for further processing like segmentation of the facial patterns. In artificial neural networks, there's an, a technique called training process where you have to use hand labeled image pairs of the input and uh, ground truth output to optimize an algorithm iteratively. So first you normally do pre-processing and data augmentation, then forward this to the current state of your model, calculate a difference between the output of your model and the ground truth, which can be used as a loss function. With this loss function, we can update the model weights. After each step, we measure a mean intersection of a union metric to validate on a non-trained data set. When we are finished, we have a model with a specific uh, metric. In our data set, we use two training the image pairs on the left side, the thermogram, that's the original input image, and on the right side, the label body part, that is a manual drawn image, which covers all of the body parts of, from the left image. And we have 300 of these pairs from walking protocol. In abstract, we had a different data set, but now we have them revised and improved their quality. We use different data augmentation techniques like uh, flipping and cropping, resizing to utilize more variation in our data set. Our artificial neural network model is the base part and we use here the fully convolutional dense net architecture, which you can see on the right side. I don't want to go deeper in this model, but you can see the green dense blocks, which use inner skip connections. And you see the yellow concatenation where you skip from the uh, encoder part to the decoder part. And this model has got re uh, good results on other similar tasks, so we choose this. As loss, loss function, we use the dice coefficient, which is similar to the mean intersection of a union. And as optimizer, we use Adam with weight decay, which is also best practice for starting here in semantic segmentation. As a result, we got a uh, mean intersection of a union of 96.87 
percent in our abstract but with our new revised data set we only get 91 percent but this is due to a wider data distribution and it's also quite good and now we can use this model for the next steps and our usage here is a single image for example we have the input tamogram in the upper side and the output on the downside where our network uses the segments the boundary line of the output in the lower image which is the body part and you can see that there's no shoe and no trousers in there and no socks the next steps would be to segment the gray veins and the white arteries from the black background inside of the body part and then we can calculate for each of these four classes the mean temperature and the standard deviation uh, for example the body mean temperature in this image is 29.807 celsius degree now we can use this for segmentation of a huge amount of images in a video for example or a data stream from camera directly and you can see the image is segmented constantly for each new image and for each image we can calculate the statistics if we print the statistics for each image on a diagram the yellow one is the body mean that was is part in this project we can see that is decreasing over time and it's not directly coupled uh, with the vein and arteries but this needs further investigation how the individual patterns correlate to the main body pattern so our next steps are extending our data set. At the moment, we only use walking protocols, but there are more protocols like running and we want to improve in this parts. And also we want to improve with other body parts. So at the moment we concentrate on legs, but there are more parts like the arms or the core. Also, we want to segment well-defined body parts individually, for example, the calf or the thighs, so that we can concentrate on one body part. And another step would be frame-to-frame -frame analysis to get a higher or faster result with higher precision. So our conclusion is here that we developed a new approach to select the region of interest in thermograms in real time there's no need for a geometric shape, uh, which is unnatural and manual drawn. We've shown that uh, the analysis of the whole visible body part can be more specific in, in a way that we don't use the geometric shapes. And we have developed a new pre-processing step, which can be done automatically for further analysis, like the vein and artery analysis, or you can also use it for other deeper analysis, which are focused only on the body parts. Our main reference here is the Barlow Hillen et al. Infrared Thermography in Exercise Physiology, and our main model reference is the lower one the 100 layers tiramisu fully convolutional dense net for semantics segmentation by simon yegu and in case you have questions you can contact us on our mail or in the message board don't hesitate to ask questions and to suggest features or share your ideas and many thanks for listening this presentation and hope you enjoy this conference bye